Hello, today I'm going to show you how to work with maps as a GM in Fantasy Grounds. We will not be covering in depth how to add line of sight, but we will have a future video that will show how to do that. If you would like a written version, you can find that in the Fantasy Grounds wiki or up there in the cards. All right, first thing we're going to do is open up an image. We're going to use Cragmon Castle from the Dungeons and Dragons adventure, Fandelver and Below. However, you can use any map you want, whether that's from an official adventure book or a map that you've made or a map that you have purchased. The first thing we're going to do is unlock our map to get all of the map options. Before we get into all of the settings, features, and things you can do, let's just talk about basic map controls. You can zoom in and out with your scroll wheel. You can also up here at the top bar, click this little navigation panel button and open up a panel. It will tell you what hotkeys do what. You can use WASD to move around the map. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out or the X and C keys to scroll in and out as well. You can also, if you wish, hold the middle mouse button and drag the mouse similar to say a real-time strategy type game. With the basic map controls out of the way, we'll get into all of the other options. Some things I want to direct you to is that this top, uh, this top bar shows all the different things you can do with maps, play, layer, paint, FX, line of sight, lighting, masks, and your grid sizing. Uh, we're going to stick to the play section for right now. And then below that, this top window has all of your options. And this bottom window down here shows all of the layers on your map. When you add new images onto the map, they will add up as different layers. A lot of our official D&D maps from the adventure books now have the DM layer separate, uh, which will hide things such as this trap over here, or in this case, it will hide all of the map key so that you can choose whether to see it or not. And you can also toggle GM visibility or player visibility so that if you want to say, show this pit trap to your players, you can. Over here in the play options, We've got uh, zoom extents, which if we say zoom all the way into this room, we want to go back to the whole map. You can click that button, go back to the whole map. We've got show and hide shortcuts. We've got enable disable player vision preview. This will show you what your players will see. You'll see that all of those line of sight and lighting shadows get much darker. Um, in this mode, this is for GMs. It's so you can still see your whole map. You can enable and disable line of sight, and we can enable disable lighting. We disable token lock, and we can enable and disable uh, grid snapping. That will allow tokens to either move along the grid or not. We've also got a handful of options up here. You've got a token selection, which lets you pick a bunch of tokens. We'll show that like this. We'll drop in a couple of good guys. Grab token selection, and we can select all of them at once. We can have target selection. So if you have a token selected and you click target, that token will now be targeted in the combat tracker by the one doing the targeting. We can draw if you want to draw on your map. Useful if you want to relay information to your players or maybe even just to make changes to your map. We have the erase tool, which erases paint layers. So we have a paint layer. And then there's the ping tool, which we talked about in a previous video. You can find that in the cards. We'll move over to layers. This gives us all our image controls for different layers. Um, that's basically it. You can also use a stamp tool to stamp images in. We'll talk about that in a future video. Same thing with the paint layer. We've talked about this pretty extensively now. In fact, there's another video in the cards for you to check out if you want about how you can use the paint tool to create maps from scratch. Over to effects, Fantasy Grounds has a number of built-in image effects. We can add a new effects layer down here at the bottom right there. And we can select rain. 
You see it's it's raining. Maybe we'll up the intensity so it's easier to see. We could do snow. We do a blizzard. We do mist. We do clouds, which is this nice little cloud cover. We do water. We want to give it a ripply effect. We do an ocean if we want a, a more ripply effect. We can make it look like parchment. Sepia. Grayscale if you want to just black and white. A time of day, which lets us pick a time of day. Adjust colors, which just lets you mess with the colors. And night vision. Very handy if you're playing any kind of sci-fi games. We'll delete that layer. To delete a layer, simply select the layer and then click the delete selected layer button. Go over here to line of sight. You can see that this map has line of sight already laid out. You'll see that walls are in red, doors are in blue. Secret doors are a dashed blue line. Terrain is in green. Terrain is a toggleable bit of line of sight data, uh, which means players can move through it. Um, when they're inside of it, they'll see what's inside of it and not be able to see outside of it. And you can't see inside of it. You can also toggle them on and off. Windows are a solid yellow line. Illusory walls are a dashed yellow line. And there's also pit traps, which are a dashed red line. Um, that's what we would likely put over here. There's also shadow casters, which the players, which will only cast shadows, as you can see. We can do that. Lighting lets you control and place all of the lighting in your scenes. You can see that this map has a number of lights preset up for you. Um, you can add lights. You can add token lights, which are added onto tokens. You can adjust token visions if you want to mess with that. And we can change the ambient lighting, whether we want that on or off, and what color we want that. You'll see it's really, really blue out here now because we changed our lighting to a dark blue. All right, let's come back up to these guys. We'll go to the masks. You can add a global mask, which will uh, allow you to, if you want to just mask specific parts of a dungeon, you can do that. Line of sight still works on all of these, uh, but they are now masks, so we'll remove that mask. And then finally, the grid. If we want to play with the grid, we can turn it off and get rid of it. We can turn it back on. You can adjust the shape of the grid. You can also adjust the color. Me personally, when I'm working with a grid, I'll put the alpha, the A down here, really, really low. So you can just kind of see it, but it's mostly gridless. I think it looks a little nicer this way. And that is a basic rundown of all of the features of a map from a GM's perspective. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date as we post more videos like this. If you want to learn more, please visit fantasygrounds.com.